Hey, I'm Eric Perkins. I've owned a general contracting company with my brother for 20 years. We failed so many inspections over the years, you would not believe it. And I'm coming to you from my house today because I could not seem to get one quiet moment at the job this week. Come on, who's using the air compressor, man? We're trying to film in here. We're gonna be doing a series of videos over the next few months called Inspectors Will Fail You For This Every Time. This is episode one, and it's about when you need to use safety glass in residential construction. This is one that's caught me off guard actually a lot of times. First, let's talk about the most common type of safety glass and that's tempered glass. Tempered glass is actually just regular glass that has been heat treated and then cooled by a process called quenching where you cool it super fast, which makes it about five times stronger than regular glass. Also, and very importantly, if it's broken, it shatters into a small granular pattern, which is much less likely to lacerate you if you fall into it. So car windshields are made out of tempered glass and it's actually laminated tempered glass, which means there's several layers of glass and there's a layer of like plastic film in between that holds it together if it's shattered. And let's take a quick look at Ray's car windshield actually. Turkey just flew right into my windshield, man. The easiest way you can tell if a window has tempered glass is by looking for a small emblem in the corner of the glass. So the big question is, where do you need to use safety glass in your own project? Well, let's look at the golden rule for using safety glass in the 2018 International Code Book. And they give four conditions. And if all of these conditions are met by one single piece of glass, then it has to be safety glass. Condition number one, if the exposed area of an individual pane is more than nine square feet. Condition number two, if the bottom edge of the glazing is less than 18 inches off of a floor. Number three, if the top edge of the glazing is more than 36 inches off of a floor, which most windows are, by the way. And number four, if one or more walking surfaces are within 36 inches horizontally from the window, like a floor, a deck, or a sidewalk, and almost all windows meet this criteria as well. So what does this mean? Well, for the most part, all it means is that you can count on using safety glass for pretty much any window where the bottom of the glazing is less than 18 inches off the floor. What's up, Kev? What's up, man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Uh, okay, but that's not the end of the story for safety glass. There are also hazardous areas in your home that have some other stringent requirements for safety glass as well. All right, the first hazardous location I wanna talk about is around doors because you're walking in and out. That's a high traffic area. So if you have glazing within 24 inches to the side of the door in the closed position, up to 60 inches off the floor, that has to be safety glass. The second hazardous location is wet areas in your home, like tubs, showers, spas. So in those areas within 60 inches horizontally of those items, and also 60 inches off the floor, those windows also have to be safety glass. I do wanna note that in most cases, we actually just use safety glass in all bathrooms because I think it's just safer. And the third major hazardous location in your home is of course stairs. So within 60 inches of the top or the bottom of your flight of stairs in a 180 degree radius, up to 60 inches high off the floor, and also 60 inches above the line connecting the stair nosings, all of this glass needs to be safety glass. Also, safety glass is required in glass railings, skylights, and most doors. There's just a small exception for glass in all of these things if the glass is a very, very small pane. So in case you missed something, which I'm speaking from experience here, and you've installed a window that needed safety glass, but it doesn't have safety glass, here's a couple fixes that I've done in the past. Number one, you can get a local glass company to come out, take the glass out of your window frame, and replace it with safety glass. Number two, you can replace the entire sash if it's removable with a new sash that already has tempered glass in it. And you have to get that from the same company usually. And number three, in most areas you can install an approved safety film to the glass on the window in a hazardous area. Uh, 3M makes one that's about eight mil thick and I've used it before and it passed in the county that I work in usually. All right, I just wanna note that this does not cover everything about safety glass and tempered glass that's in the code book. There is a lot more, but this will get you through the most common problems you're gonna run into if you're trying to do a project residential for yourself. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure to stay tuned to learn more about passing inspections on the first try. He never has his own tools.